Hi, this is Ryan from BetterTattooing.com. We're in the garage again, and it's really cold out here today. Today we're going to be answering the question, how often should I change my needle when I'm doing a tattoo? <laughs> Alright, now that's over. How often should I change my needle? This is kind of interesting. There's going to be a few reasons as to why how often you should change it, but it's more often than you think. I've seen some people run their tattoos for seven, eight, nine, ten hours and use the same needles. And it's funny because as you get further along in the tattoo, you'll see the clients start to suffer more and more. And you always wonder why is that, right? So regardless if you're using a steel or a plastic tip, our needles always come sharp, right? Polished or unpolished if they're textured. And they sit against the back of the tube and they move up and down pushing the pigment into the skin. Yeah, much more complex than that, but whatever. Um, for this explanation anyways, whatever. So needles are moving up and down. What are they doing? They're sitting against the back side of this tube. Now if it's a steel tube, what happens to those needles? Interestingly enough, they end up going from this nice kind of curved shape like this to getting filed down and becoming flat. Now flatness is interesting is because it ends up conforming to that tube bottom, the tube edge, what we got going on, and it decreases the amount of pigment flow, right? Pigment, we'll go negative on this. Because it can't get past the space. It'll try flowing through between the needles or around them, but trying to flow underneath them, where before there was only a single point of contact where this needle was hitting it and creating a small pool underneath it is, is gone. So it's acting like a dam. It'll make it more difficult to actually get the pigment into the skin. This usually occurs around th hours three to four, right? Hours three to four, depending on grouping, machine speed, how hard you're working the skin. We'll just say hours three to four, you know if you're using a steel tube that you need to change out your needles. But the plastic tube is a bit different. A plastic tube, you have the exact same setup, the tube base, it's coming off like this, and the needles are laying down on top of the tube. Now, more scale, low scale, one of those two, I forget. The needle rubbing back and forth, it ends up digging a ditch into the plastic. With this ditch being dug and the needle moving back and forth, the same thing occurs that you'll see normally in a steel tube, right? We're gonna have a decreased amount of quantity, pigment flowing down the tube and going into the client's skin. More often than not, the actual needle is pretty good, but what you end up with is these small particles of plastic as well as pigment, hair and otherwise, end up getting trapped on the back side of the needle. And you also have this hollowing that's happening in the plastic tube, which 100% decreases the amount of pigment that's going to be moving out, which will make it so that basically the needles are torturing the skin. They're creating holes, they're doing the things they're supposed to do, but there's no pigment actually going into them because you're not getting a steady feed from the reservoir behind it to feed the needles and how they're going. At the same time, any of this debris that's coming out from dead skin, hair, if you haven't shaved properly, or from the plastic collecting back here, ends up splaying out the needles. Well, they used to be straight when you first got them, they end up moving out a little bit wider. They don't hit the skin straight and choose it up. Bad things happen. On average, if we're gonna be going with plastic tubes, every two to three hours, depending on machine speed, type of tattoo you're doing, the type of pigment you're using, is gonna make a big difference on this. More often than not, if you're using black pigment, because the carbon inside of the black is usually pretty, pretty small, it acts really well as an abrasive on this stuff. Same with white, TiO2. Um, you, you'll wanna do it every two to three hours. If you're using another type of color, something like that, sometimes you can drag it out to three to four, but I mean, just to be safe, swap out your needles every two to three hours. And if you're using a plastic tube as well, swap out the tube because the tube that you're using is already junk. I have seen people, no word of a lie, 12 hours in, punch a hole in the bottom of their tube tip because they've been using the same tube, running 13 volts on a nine liner, trying to grind somebody's arm with this crazy ass traditional tattoo design. And they actually are having ink spill at the bottom end of it over their fingers. So you're using disposables, get rid of it. Easiest way. Every two to three hours, change it out. Now, what if you're using cartridges? Cartridges are a bit different, right? Because what we're gonna have is a bar on rod, the bladder that's holding it, needles that are coming out off of a tube tip with a reservoir, 
right? Now, there's two things that are going to start to fail on a cartridge type machine. This is a really bad drawing, but I, I hope that you can kind of get my idea of what I'm doing here. As the needles are moving up and down, you're getting wear and tear. These are disposable, right? So they're going to be plastic tips. So you've normally got the normal two to three hour breakdown, right? Where you're going to have to change this stuff. The other thing that happens is these bladders or bands, however, they're going to be connected here because they're used out of a pliable material. As they're moving back and forth, these actually end up weakening, right? What this means is that the actual return rate of the needle going back up as it's starting to be interacted with the machine on the push rod or otherwise becomes less efficient the longer that it runs. And that's just right from word one, right? So at the two to three hour mark, there's going to be stress and wear inside of these. Some people will say they can last eight hours, they can last longer than this. It doesn't matter, they're still being worn. And it's going to change the efficiency at actually how well that this runs. I've seen people run their cartridge machines and cartridge tips for eight hours or something and what will end up happening is this bladder or band or whatever that's sitting up here has gotten so weak and there's so much drag off of this that the machine is reciprocating at a certain speed and there's actually as it's interacting with this through a push rod or something it ends up floating right there isn't enough strength in the bladder or bands that are pulling the needle back and there's so much drag on the end of the tube tip that is the needle bar push rod is coming down to hit that plunger, it doesn't actually give enough time for this to come back up so that it can be pushed down again. They end up just basically bouncing off of each other and the needles will hang out of the tube tip, even by just a small degree, and end up tearing the living hell out of the skin. So it's something to think about with these, especially with the types of plastic that they're using in these now, and the abrasiveness of the pigment, the metal of the needles, plus the wearing down of this stuff, you usually have to change most cartridge type needles every one to two hours. Right? That's a really good R. Every one to two hours to make sure that you can obtain peak implantation of that pigment. And people will say this is a little crazy. Those things are expensive. They're $2 a piece. Yeah, I know. Use a needle bar and it costs less. They're also more efficient. We can go over how these machines actually work and why this occurs later. But these may be really good. People love them. They like how they work. They're supposed to help so you don't have a bunch of drag or knock when you're moving your hand any which way as you're doing lines. They wear out really fast. So if you're going to be using these and you're doing large scale work, make sure that you're changing them out more often than not. Your th client will thank you for it and your work will actually heal better. Anyways, this is Ryan from bettertattooing.com signing off.